grab one. I'm starting doing a thing where when I go to a new city, I learn a trivia fact about that city, and then when I come home, I share it with my friends. Because if you know a lot of stuff about a lot of places, it makes me seem like a cool, like citizen of the world type, like an Anthony Bourdain kind of. And that sounds better than I'm an idiot who talks about his wiener for free buffalo wings. Like it, it reframes my career more positively. Uh, and I'll share one that I learned with you guys, a little trivia fact. Uh, I went to San Francisco for the first time recently, and you might not know this because they don't tell everybody, but did you know that San Francisco fucking sucks? <laughs> Worst place I've ever been in my life. And again, I was just in India. <laughs> Here's what sucks about San Francisco. They trick you. Because when you're getting close, it looks like you're going to have a great time. Because it's a beautiful city from far away. It's this gleaming, hopeful, technological metropolis. It looks like Blade Runner in the daylight. It's fucking gorgeous. And then you go across the bridge and you get down to street level. And you look around and you're just like, oh! These are the scariest homeless people I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and they are everyone. <laughs> Nobody in San Francisco isn't homeless. 100% concentrated. I asked the cop for help. The cop asked me for $9 to buy crack. <laughs> I get it, we have homeless people in LA, and I've seen them, and they're adorable. But San Francisco has weaponized homelessness. The homeless have evolved in San Francisco. They look like Ninja Turtle villains. They're just half rhino, half Vietnam vet, denim vest, and they're taking your shoes. Like, I watched a man in San Francisco shit into a wall. <laughs> Wrap your heads around the physics. Like he was walking down the street, saw a CVS and was like, well, yes, this is the place. And then drop trout, he spread one ass cheek, which felt disrespectful. <laughs> both ass cheeks, it's like, well, he's committed. He's all in on the mess he's about to make. But one cheek just felt like, whatever, I got better places to be. <laughs> Shit where I want, fuck you, mom and dad. But then he just flonk, puts his dumb wet butthole just against the full glass wall. And then he looks at me, and I'm looking at him, and he just goes, why? <laughs> Nothing, dude, as you were. Carry on. And he said, yeah, that's what I thought, white boy. He was Korean. And then just fucking kaboom. Shits every direction at the same time. Like, it looked like when they shake up a bottle of champagne after the World Series. Like, just... And here's how you know San Francisco sucks. The guy who worked at the CBS barely cared. Like, he dips his head out the door. He looks to the left. He sees the devil's fondue pot. And he just goes, hey! Gary, you crazy! <laughs> and I'm like, he's not wrong, Gary crazy! Like, 